This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and a welcome back to Ancestors. Today we're going to talk about mobility and exploring the map. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I suggest before you go out exploring is to save your game. Now your game saves whenever you do something or something special happens. So for example, if you have a baby, it'll save. If you die and you let the video finish, it playing out of your death it'll save if you anything that's like life changing for your clan it saves but you can also save by sleeping or by just going into the evolution menu so we can just pop in the evolution menu like this and then back out real quick and there you can see that it's saving up in the top left hand corner so I suggest to do this because if anything tragic happens while you're out, like you fall out of the tree and die, which can happen and will probably will happen to you at some point unless you're super, super careful, uh, you can just hit Alt F4 and cancel the game out and, or close the game out and then reload back to right before you left out for your adventure so you don't lose a lot of time and you don't have to lose one of your primates. The next thing I suggest is having the break buff and cold buff and you can max those out by taking these red leaves here that you can find around the map and I will uh, I'll go into the senses here and show you those so this is what they they look like that symbol there when you're out and about so you get those you swap hands you grab your grinder no you don't eat them dang it you swap hands you grab your grinder and then you alter them so we're just gonna give them a little grind here and once you've ground them up and then you eat them it will give you a maxed out break buff and a maxed out cold buff. That's gonna make it really easy. So if you fall, which you probably, like I said, you probably will. I can't count the number of times I've fallen out of a tree, even taking into account the tips that I'm going to give you in this video. It's just gonna happen, accidents happen. That's gonna make life a lot easier on you and it may save your life actually. The next thing I suggest is if you're going on a very long trip, take an extra one of those ground up leaves with you and take a chopper with you. The reason I suggest that is because it saves you from having having to get down on the ground. One, you can refresh your buff by eating those leaves. You can sleep up in a tree and then when you wake up the next morning, eat those leaves, refresh your buff. You're going to need something to drink more than likely if you're going out on a long trip because uh, I've noticed that swinging through the, the branches and doing a lot of climbing makes them thirsty faster and hungrier, but hungry is not a problem because you can find fruit in the trees. Thirsty means you have to get down on the ground unless you have something to break a coconut. It's relatively easy to get a coconut and stay high up in the trees and drink from the coconut without putting yourself in danger by going down on the ground. Okay, now that you've got your buffs on and you're all ready to go exploring, let's talk about going through the trees and exploring the map and mobility. First off, Early on in the game, you move slower on the ground than you do when you're in the trees. Now, I've got a few upgrades that help me move a little bit faster on the ground so you don't notice too much of a difference, but there is one. So here's moving on the ground. Now, once we go over here, I'll jump on the tree and I'll show you sprinting in the tree. And you'll notice just the, the tiniest little bit of a difference. It's much more noticeable earlier on in the game but uh, like I said, I've unlocked a bunch of stuff that's helped me move or helps me move a little bit faster on the ground. So here we go. Here's full sprint speed up a tree. You can see that it's noticeably different. Not a lot, but it is there. Next thing to keep in mind when you're in the trees is if you're way high up at the top of the canopy, like all the way at the top and you're anywhere near one of these birds nests, if you stay here too long, eventually a large bird will come and it will eat you. So keep that in mind. Don't hang out up here too long. Uh, lower down, you're fine. So if we uh, jump down here and then we'll jump down one more. So right around here, you should be safe. Should be fine here. They, they shouldn't be able to get you, but all the way up on the top, you're vulnerable. Likewise, being on the ground for too long, eventually a cat will come along and try to eat you if you're on the ground too long. And that countdown timer for being on the ground and the cat showing up is uh, sped up by making a lot of noise on the ground. You can get it to show up a lot quicker that way as well. Now let's talk about moving through the trees. You want to move through the trees in short bursts, kind of like parkour style, and you want to map how you're going to move through. Don't just go jumping all crazy. Know your path and know what what's ahead of you so you know where you're going to land. So for example, I'm going to move right through here. Now the other thing you keep in mind, while you are agile in the trees, you're also very heavy. You're like a freaking 400 pound gorilla. So, or, 
ape, monkey, whatever the heck they are, you're a large primate and you fall like a large primate. You don't glide like Spider-Man. So keep that in mind when you're jumping. So what you're going to do to help that a little bit is you can hold down the sprint button to get like a larger leap in the direction that you want to go. So we're going to go hold down the sprint button and then go back and then release the sprint button when we see like that, that little, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Let's drop down. Let's drop down right here. So when you see this, see how the screen gets all wonky on the edges. Now you can cancel this by letting go of the forward button and then letting go of spacebar. If you let go of spacebar first or your jump key, your sprint key, whichever it is for you for, me on the keyboard at spacebar. If you let go of that first, you'll jump, but you can prevent jumping by not holding down the forward button. Okay, so let's go back up and let's go the path that I plotted there. So we're just going to get a nice good jump here, swing, and then latch on. I think that, yeah, this is the tree. This is close enough to the tree. So we're going to go right here and we're going to actually, I'm going to go a little higher here and see if I can swing there, grab hold there, and I'm actually going to look and make sure I'm good. So I should be good if I go here and then release and then go. And the other thing to keep in mind when you're swinging, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to go down lower here. Now that we're at a much lower fall range here, let's talk about getting our max swing potential. So holding space bar grabs a hold of the, the branches here. You can actually stop moving forward, let go of space bar, and you will hold on to the branches as well. If you start holding forward and swinging, and then you hold down space bar and then release, you release when you want to jump. Now, you want to release when your feet are as far forward as they're going to go. So right now, that's going to get your maximum distance. So let's, let's go back up here and jump over here. Uh, apparently I'm thirsty or hungry. So here we go. Uh, we're going to, I'll demonstrate now. And that's your max, that's going to get you your max forward momentum. Any other point in that and, and you won't go as far forward as you need to go. If you're climbing up the tree and you need to get down the tree really quickly, you can hit your drop a button or for me it's the C key. I don't know what it is for controller, but if I hit C, you can see I fall rapidly let me show you that again we'll go back up here so C and then you just let go and you'll cling back to the tree so that's a good way to get down the tree quickly if you need to so when moving through the trees and trying to get to a specific destination what I like to do is go as, as high up in the tree as I can go so I can get an idea of what's below me now this is dangerous because the higher you go the further you're gonna fall if you miss but it also gives you the ability to see what's in front of you and and plot your path easier as well as have a better chance of catching stuff if you manage to to actually fall out of the tree and not catch anything you have a better chance of you know it's more layered I guess is the the word I'm looking for so what I like to do is get nice and high up in the tree like this and then kind of look down as I'm moving because if you get to the tip of the branch, it's harder to plot. So if I kind of just hang back a little bit like here, I can see that there's plenty of stuff through there and all the way over to there maybe. So what I might want to do is swing that way. It looks like I have a little bit more vegetation through there and you don't necessarily have to go all the way to the top top right here is going to be good as well and I can swing through and then okay that was what I consider a short burst so now what I'm going to do is just drop down here and then I'm going to turn around because this is the way that I'm going take a look at what I got going on and see that my path is going to lead me this way so we're going to jump through there and then I'm going to actually climb up to this part here Oop, and maybe miss. Ooh, see, that's why we go up nice and high because I accidentally hit the wrong key and uh, we, we were lucky enough to have something to grab a hold of. So that's one of the bonuses of being up nice and high is that you have that option most of the time to grab something lower 
uh, as you fall. So now we're just going to swing over to this tree here and we'll uh, reset our pathing through here. Another good thing to keep in mind is that you can also see paths lower as well. So if we, if we go down here, we can see that the branches actually pretty much connect through that way and remember that the fastest path to your destination may not always be a straight line and it is more than likely not going to be a straight line so for this example our our fastest path uh, over to that way would be through there so we make a little bit of a, a u shape through there so i'm going to go up this way here and we're going to jump over here and we're going to go from this branch we're going to swing and then connect to this tree and sorry that we're cold right now my buff ran out in the middle of the night I had to sleep because the, uh, the ape was tired and now that we're over here that's what I would consider a short burst remember I said moving short bursts so now we can take a second we can see that we got a nice line through right there that's, a, that's about all the tips I have for moving just move in short bursts make sure you have the buff and then Plan your path between your, your movements. So like now that I want to move, continue to move in that direction, I can see my, my quickest path would be up this tree, jumping over that tree, and then jumping over that way. So that's what we'll do. We'll just come over here. We'll hold down the sprint for a second to get maximum jump. We'll uh, swing and cling to it. Climb all the way up this tree here. And now we can jump over to this one. And now that we're in this big tree, we can move through this big tree a little bit easier here. So we'll climb up here, and then we should be able to jump and grab that. Swing to this one, and then keep an eye on your stamina as well. Now we need to take a break because our stamina is getting kind of low. And with that, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover for tips for movement. If you have any questions, let me know down there in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time. Next time. Thanks for watching.